And in Canada, it's now a crime to object to sexualized drag shows for children. You're not allowed to say a word. Late last month's month, a pastor in Calgary was violently throw, thrown out of an all-ages, in other words, for children, drag queen story hour for daring to object to the sexualization of children. Watch this. So that's the video. <laughs> that's what happened. Where are all the professional Christians? You have to wonder that again. Where's David French and Beth Moore and Tim Keller and all these people who are defending Christianity as actual Christians are being arrested for being Christians? Hmm. Not a word. This is very, very significant, and this is very, very ironic, because for years now, people like Tim Keller, David French, and Beth Moore, they're supposed to be the embodiment of what it means to be winsome, right? They're these grand third wayers, these C.S. Lewises of, of our time who, you know, the world just likes and loves, and they're the embodiment of what it, meant, uh, what it means to be Jesus, and they're not like those Christian conservatives over there who are making a God out of their politics. They know what it means to be like Christ and on the side of the oppressed. But when it comes down to a Christian being persecuted by a tyrannical government, so we have a real situation of real oppression, people like Tim Keller, David French, and Beth Moore, they're nowhere to be found. And Tucker Carlson is calling them out for it on the news. You know, you go back like 10 years, nobody would have predicted this. Nobody would have predicted that evangelical elites would be, call, would be called out on the news by Tucker Carlson, you know, let alone any news channel, for saying, hey, where are you? Like, aren't, aren't these your people? Aren't you for Christians? Aren't you for you know, the Church of Jesus Christ? But it's going to become more and more obvious that Tucker Carlson, the reason why they're not saying anything is because they're not actually for Christians. They're for the people who are against Christians. And they built their entire theology off of what the world says, trying to convince you that this is what Christianity says and trying to assimilate into the world, trying to be a friend to the world and try to prove to the world, hey, hey, you know, we're just like you. You know, uh, we're not conservative. You know, we're not, you know, going to take stands for Jesus Christ. You know, don't worry. You know, we'll be, you know, uh, j uh, just like you. You know, social justice, Black Lives Matter. You know, whatever. You know, uh, uh, you name it, pop. You know, we'll close down our churches. We'll do the whole nine yards. And when you come and persecute Christians, I won't say a word. Don't worry about it. People are catching on. Tucker Carlson is catching on. People like Tucker Carlson are catching on. You know, you can only do this for so long. You can only try to deceive people for so long. Eventually, it's going to become obvious. And as this increases, the good thing about persecution is you can get to see who's who and where, you know, where they stand. Well, as this increases, especially in Canada, things are going from bad to worse. If it ever gets here in America, which it looks like you know, it is down the road, you know, if I had to predict, it is going to come here. People are going to be more uh, vitriolic towards Christians. You are going to see situations like this in Canada happen in America. Tim Keller, David French, Beth Moore, they won't say a word, or if they do say a word, it will be against them, and they'll be accusing them of being in the wrong. But people are going to catch on. People are going to start to, you know, to smell, you know, uh, that something's up, and they're going to start to realize that this is all an act, and you're not actually for Christians. You're for the people who are against Christians. And I just wish right now that the church would realize this more and more, and realize that they've been fooling us. They they've been deceiving us. They're not for Christians. They're for the people who are against Christians.